Hey everybody, it's Nikki, and welcome to another LEGO Star Wars review on this channel. Today we are going to be reviewing the Yavin 4 Rebel Base, which I did pick up on August 1st alongside a few other sets, so be sure to go check out the LEGO Store vlog that I did. But of all the sets that I picked up, this one here is hands down my favorite one. Much to my surprise, because you know what? I initially did not know if I deemed this set worthy of a day one purchase, because it is a lot of money at about 170 US dollars. It will no doubt go on sale, so if you're on the fence about it even after this review just wait just wait a little while it's gonna go on sale so this set does come with 10 really good minifigures most of to be honest i really think that all of them are winners my favorites definitely have to be princess leia of course because that's one of my favorite outfits i know i literally have the minifigure like right there but this the ceremony outfit is one of my favorites of hers there's also han and luke with their new medals and there's even an extra one thrown in there which i'm really really happy about because i'd like to find a way to give it to Chewbacca, even though it's definitely not gonna fit around his neck. He rightfully deserved a medal. Don't know why he never got one in the movies. It was wrong. So I like to think that that's, you know, what its intention was. Another favorite of mine is the Rebels Fleet Trooper. I love that helmet. And he's the first one that I've gotten in my collection. So it's really cool to have one of him now as well. Prior to building it, I did think that it just kind of looked like the shell of what Yavin is. And looking at it more now, I guess building it and then seeing it in person, I think that much less than I did just based on those images. But it was especially in building this set that I realized that this is what embodies like a classic Lego Star Wars set, you guys. Look at this, okay? First of all, you get this little miniature Y-Wing, which is great, you can see. I have the pilot laying down in there. The cockpit is mini scale, so he actually can't sit up in here. You have to lay him flat. Got the astromech on top as well, but anyway, you get the point. It's a tiny little Y-Wing, which is really fun. But it's got these three levels, okay? You have the ceremony stage, the command floor, and then just the ground level, which is like a makeshift landing bay storage area kind of thing. There's a little ship included. There's like on this middle floor here, you can see there's a stud shooter mechanism. Very good playability. Again, 10 minifigures and really good ones at that that are just perfect for like recreating scenes. If you've got other sets, you can kind of add them all together really well. I sound like I'm just like promoting the heck out of this thing. The command floor has this little command room. There's a rotating hologram table. Again, that rotating stud shooter mechanism in the center there. And on top, the ceremony stage is really small. There's not much to it. They have you put a little bit of like foliage on the inside. There's just enough room for about five figures. I took out R2, but I'm sure you could find a way to smush him in there. I do really like the pilot briefing room on the same command floor. The hologram map walls as well, just kind of dividing the command floor. The ground level, again, very, very simple. There is a service cart that I just kind of have sitting around there. That's really just like a makeshift landing bay with some storage units in there, little mechanic shop. One thing I did really love is this little tree with the watchtower built into it. Again, one of my favorite classic scenes from the original trilogy was my screensaver for a while just because I love that helmet. So having this figure and having this little watchtower is awesome. I don't remember, oops, there goes the helmet. I don't remember him ever coming with this spear, so I thought that that was kind of bizarre, but that's fine. So he's up in the watchtower with these really cool binoculars and a spear. So honestly, this set is not perfect. I stand by what I said initially, that it is kind of a shell of a build. There's some spaces where you could fill things in. It's not a display set. One thing that I think would have made me feel a little bit better about it is I actually wish that the exterior had some more foliage, some more decoration around it. If we had just used more of these masonry medium nougat pieces, there's just not enough. And I feel like it really would have added a lot of detail to the exterior. I even would have accepted some sticker pieces as well, just to add to it that had more vines, maybe some cracks given how old these ruins are. I think that actually would have been really cool. It really would have made it more aesthetically pleasing to the adult collectors. I might myself just find some sort of way to make it look a little bit more presentable just on its own. But as is, I really enjoyed the build. I really like how complete of a set it would feel like. If I, like, if I were a kid and I wanted to pick up one LEGO Star Wars set, this would be the one where it's like, there's so many rooms, I can recreate all of my favorite scenes. I could bring in more of my rebel troopers and just kind of have them running around the base doing things. I could add in my little X-Wing over here. Everything could be parked out front, my Luke Skywalker. And building this, I just saw all that potential and it made it really enjoyable for me. I would still wait for it to go on sale because I think $170 is just too much. 1,066 pieces. No, nuh-uh, that is way too much. I think they try to justify that a little bit with the minifigures, which I do understand. However, Harry Potter does get these big sets, even these little medium sets with, guess what? Maybe not 10, but like average eight minifigures, I think. And the price does not go up that much. 
I can't see what they were doing though. They were trying to fill the space with a lot of minifigures for us because if there's one thing that we have all been asking for, I was comparing the number of minifigures that we got in those sets versus the ones that Star Wars got. And it was like, why do I get too many figures here? Whereas in Harry Potter, I would have gotten seven. So I really appreciate that we at least got not just 10 minifigures, but 10 really, really good ones. Some new ones, some exciting ones for me. And we're revisiting a scene that I don't think we've done very much on, so that's pretty exciting as well. But anyway, you guys, those are my thoughts. Definitely be sure to let me know what you think as well. Let me know what you think about these minifigures, what you think about the price, and what do you think about the base itself? I'm assuming many of you will agree that it could have used more masonry bricks. I think that that really would have saved some of the outside because I just don't really like having all these exposed studs. This tree probably could have used a little bit more detailing as well. Like this video if you did enjoy this review. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry about that train. I don't know if you can hear it. <laughs> I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you next time.